Hey beautiful Mizco, it's People here and in this video I want to give you a very quick summary of the latest Figma update. Okay, so let's get right into it guys. Alrighty-o, so let's take a look at this design. Now in the latest Figma update that they just released, it allows you to create multiple flows in a prototype. Now this has been something I've been dying for for so long, okay? So in this update, they did also include the renaming of your frames up in the top left corner. So as you can see here, if I double click here, I can edit this uh, frame name. Previously, if you double clicked on this, you'd have to uh, edit it inside your layers panel, which was very frustrating. So that's the first update. Now the second update is, let's take a look at this design. So obviously I, I have a home page, and then I have a search results flow as well. Now let's just say, if a user clicks on a photo, they get uh, taken to, sorry, if they click on like Sydney, for example, if they're searching for a photo in Sydney, we have the search results, and then we have a single page for if someone clicks on a photo, it will take them into the single page, and then they can click purchase to go through the purchase stage as well. Now, here is what the magic is all about, okay? So, if we wanna create two separate flows, all you have to do is, let's quickly take a look over here, top right corner in the prototype panel, select your uh, uh, the frame that you want to uh, create the flow for, hit the plus icon, you can give this a name, so this might be the home page flow. You can also hit the edit icon and leave some notes. So obviously, if you have notes for potentially the developer, or it could be notes for the client, whatever it might be, you can leave notes in here. So let's just say it's notes for the developer. Uh, please uh, include the transition for the search dropdown. All right, so that's all done. And then you can obviously uh, customize some of the text, add some links, beautiful things. And then in the second flow, select the frame, head over to the prototype panel on the right, hit the plus icon, and you might say search experience flow, all right? And then you might not leave some notes for this one. And then you can create the links. So obviously if you tap a photo, it goes into single page. Um, you can then grab the purchase button, uh, link it to the checkout page, and the magic happens from here. So simply select the frame, hit play, to preview your prototype and it should take a few seconds to load and then from here you can see on the left menu you now have an updated uh, option so let's just view this full width so you can see this beautiful design um, the home page is the home page itself so if we click on this you can oh, whoops not linked up properly but you get the idea but the flows now gives you access to the different flows that you have set up in your uh, design file hit search experience you then you have the experience for the actual search experience right so if i click on this photo loads over here that's beautiful i might select a, uh, a license and hit purchase and then that takes me to the checkout flow as well so very simple update from Figma, but it is very handy because previously when I was creating multiple flows, trying to create multiple flows inside Figma, it was impossible. You couldn't do it and it was very frustrating to have to quickly smash that right arrow until you get to the screen you want and then show that uh, flow. Now you can break it all up and you can present like an absolute pro. All right guys, hopefully you found this video extremely useful and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Wow.